All right, so welcome to Tomato Industries Detailing. And here we have today's car. It's a BMW X5 M5 2002 model. So um, I had a bit of history with this car. I uh, just checked the records and it came in for a single stage polish and some uh, Fuso coat in February, uh, sorry, September of 2016. And I washed it monthly till February 2017. I haven't seen it since. Um, so I wouldn't expect um, a lot of protection still to be on this car after over 14 months although in February I would have put some reload on it so who knows there may be a little bit on there still so um, today we're going to be doing the uh, pre-wash which will be clean out the um, wheel arches clean the tyres clean the wheels which are pretty yucky pretty mungy uh, clean out all the trim um, windscreen cowling, vents and all this, just do that in the pre-wash get all the muck out of the um, door lines up here uh, do the inside of the frames, sills and um, door jams and I just saw something there, I saw a scratcher a little bit distracted uh, there are a couple of small scratches on this paint um, noticing this one here goes all the way down, I haven't done any measurements on this car yet so I'll do that after I wash it and um, it looks pretty scratched up along here and oxidized so hopefully I might be able to do something about that but it almost looks like it's cracked so we'll have a look at that so I'm thinking um, after the three stage decontamination which will be the um, iron x tar remover and clay bar We'll go with a uh, single stage polish. It's just going to be a finishing polish, so I'll be either using Wolfgang's Glaze or uh, Menzerna um, 4000. And I may have some Meguiar's um, 205, M205 if I need uh, something to get these scratches out because they're not deep, they're just superficial. So just in case I'll have that handy. Yeah, so it's going to be just single stage with the rotary. Uh, we'll be polishing the windscreen, the moonroof, and the back window also. We'll be, and put uh, fly by Ford on there. All the rest of the windows will just get clean, and I'll put uh, 3M glass coating on them. Um, the B pillars also get uh, a coating, so it'll be the same as the paint quartz and this uh, trim here once it's cleaned up. So I think. Last time I did this, I would have just put carpet wrap pearl on it, and as I said, I probably haven't um, put anything on this since February of the, this year, uh, which is seven months ago, probably even eight. So, yeah, it's starting to look a bit ordinary, so hopefully with the coatings this time, um, we'll be able to keep that nice and black. So the coatings will go on all this trim back here, clean all this out. I might even clean these um, exhaust plugs up, um, let's see how we go with that, this is probably the, I think you know, some tyres get dirtier than others, and this is the one, this is the tyre that is the, oh the wheel that is the most dirty, and uh, you'll notice just up here, so I always do the interior of windows, uh, the amount of, all this is your dog's nose, so the dog comes up here and sticks his nose and it's not all over the window. So I'll do the interior of the um, windows also and fortunately you've got some peeling of either the clear coat or, or a film that they put over their headlights. Uh, these headlights have got that black background which I don't really like, not a fan of it. Uh, yeah so that's it for today and uh, we'll rip into this later on, polish him up, coat him and uh, she's going to look a lot better. She's got a small, uh, a light film of dust stuff on it. You see he has washed it a few times, so that's not too bad. All right. So hopefully I'll have time to show a few things I'm doing and uh, um, maybe some of the polishing and whatever, because it doesn't seem to be a great deal of um, contamination on on the car but I won't actually know till later. We've got a nice bit of bird poo there. Although now looking down here we can see there's probably gonna be a fair bit of tar and crap it's normally 
in underneath all that dirt. So we need to do some good foaming here, get in with all the brushes up under here. I remember from last time I cleaned it, there was a brown film that went all the way off on the top of this, so that's all cleaned off and hasn't come back, which is good. Yes, and this this is just sort of a little bit oxidised and grey, so I'll, I'll clean this up a bit better. Maybe using a bit of Plastex, um, guys Plastex, just to get it a bit darker and then put the coating on. So, yep, should be a good one. All right, catch you soon. Two point five, around a uh, thousand RPM.
Hi, right, so welcome back. Um, it's about finished uh, the outside. I haven't been able to coat it yet. It's a, it's, uh, we've had quite a few thunderstorms and I'm just getting a bit worried. Uh, I might have to leave the coating till the morning where it's going to be a sunny day tomorrow. Unfortunately, I was going to do it tonight. Uh, but, yeah, there's just too many thunderstorms around. We've just had a really big one go through. But um, I'm just pretty impressed with these interior windows. <laughs> the amount of... I think this is the dog also, because the dog claims the front, uh, his nose gets up the front there and he, um, God bless him, puts his little nose up there and we'll just see, yeah, so that's, that's the uh, back passenger side there, and they're just probably all like this, I think, let's have a look at this one, this is a solid car. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> yep. and this is his nose here, might see it better from the outside actually, um, oh god, look at this over there, <laughs> oh golly gosh, yeah, these are probably some of the gnarliest windows I've come up against. What have we got on the side? Is it the same? Oh yes, beautiful. Just the same, look at this. <laughs> this dog just must run around in the car. I can face planting everywhere. Oh yes, he's even got to here. He's probably been left in the car for some reason. Yeah, so look at all this crap here. God, and the wind, this thing, this thing's gonna be filthy. This thing in here. Anyway, I'm gonna tackle all these. Oh, I just did the back, uh, the back one here, and uh, I've got to give one more wipe. So it's amazing. You, you to clean these things, it takes quite a bit. Um, it takes about three brand new cloths. Um, because you can't just sort of come up and just start wiping it like that. It just sloshes all over the place. So you've got to, it's like with polish or, or actually coating, you get your, your mitt, you go once, then turn it over, go down again, down again. And I, I did that with um, a good slosh of IPA. And you can still see the straight, the marks where it's streaked down. So this is how bad it was. So I actually did it with a clean cloth. Then I got another clean cloth and wiped it. And now I'm going to have to get another IPA wipe down on this thing. And hopefully it'll be a bit better. All right. So we'll have a look at this back window now. This is me in the inside of the back of the car. Oh, I'll just let you see what I'm doing. So I've got the back open. Here's the car. And... That took, to get it clean, um, three brand new cloths, uh, only using one side at a time. So it's three IPA wipe downs and then I finished up with this, just using this dry. So every window's gonna have to be cleaned like that. <laughs>
Okay, so welcome back to the finished product of the BMW X5 M5. Um, so, basically, I was only supposed to um, give this a very quick polish and put a wax on it. That's all, all he wanted. Um, so, I decided in my wisdom uh, that I'm going to put a coating on it. And the reason I did that was because um, the owner of this car has been very um, supportive of the business and uh, brings this car and another one around. Uh, frequently for a yearly uh, big detail and this is 14 months since it got its last one so it's back again and I also do maintenance washes on both those cars each month uh, also he's a very um, community minded person goes to a lot of events knows heaps of people and I thought if I um, give this a polish and get it looking really really nice he's going to go out there and other people are going to see it because I'm trying my best to push coatings around the Byron area. Byron Bay in northern New South Wales is not what you call a detailing type of town. They, they like car washes, they don't like detailers. And I'm trying to bring, you know, at least mid-level to a little bit higher level detailing to the town. So, um, hopefully other people see this and they'll think, oh, I'd like to get that done. So, uh, did what I normally did, the pre-wash. Um, uh, then did the uh, foam using built hamber car wash uh, car foam and then use CT18 uh, to wash the car and then uh, I did a three stage decontamination uh, that being um, iron X uh, tar removal and clay bar so I used the Zass um, or Zentil clay bar I think it is it's a pink one fine using car pro Imalube as the lubricant and I'm still you know I'm not too sure about that even lube it gets you know it sort of gets splashed around a little bit like other detailing suppose they get splashed around but this stuff's very oily it's really really oily um it sort of it works i'm not having a go it definitely works but it sometimes feels like it could possibly be a bit thick um, but you know i've got more of it there and i'll probably use it um then i uh did an ipa wipe down then polished the car using uh, flex rotary 14-2 uh, a soft polishing pad, and we might even say a finishing pad, and Car Pro Essence. All I wanted to do, there's no correction with this, it's only about gloss. So, zipped around the car with the polisher, also polished the B pillar, C pillar, and D pillars. Um, polished the rear lights and headlights. So, um, the paint got uh, Car Pro CQ. CK, hang on, Car Pro C Quartz UK. Get that a bit mixed up sometimes. And um, as did the pillars, the B pillar, C pillar, D pillar, uh, the racks at top. Um, uh, yeah, that's about it. Windows, front window polished, back window polished, moonroof polished, fly by Ford on those. Side windows just cleaned, and they on the inside were absolutely filthy. Like, you, I couldn't believe it. I did a video. Hopefully I'll have time to put it on. Um, yes, they were full on. So anyway, cleaned the inside uh, using IPA. Um, and it took a while, believe me. So the way I did it, you know, I had to do it because there was so much greasy dog slobber on all the interior windows, is I'd get a, a, um, micro, a very clean microfiber cloth. I'd spray one side and I'd wipe down once. Then I'd turn it over, spray the other side, wipe down again, and work my way out. That's the only way you could do it. And then I had to repeat that again, going across. Then I had to use, I finally was able to use one of my normal pink um, window cleaning cloths to finish it off. Uh, but yes, because you can't go and just spray the IPA on the interior window and start wiping it like this with all that dog slobber and grease and crap all over it. It just wipes it everywhere. Um, so yeah, front wind uh, headlights have all been polished, this grill, so I've uh, coated inside here using those mouth swabs, they're very very good for this, you can get them right in, um, they're very good, so I use one to clean the, clean the actual um, grill uh, with the greaser or IPA, okay, and you can put them right through like so, and clean them, and then once they're clean, you get another one coat put some uh, deluxe on it and once again you can go right into it and spread the coating around so that the, both of these um, reels receive that 
also the windscreen cowling and the wipers. I've been doing this cup of tea, he's still got the same broken <laughs> wiper, I can't believe it. Alright, so I did uh, polish uh, the pillars and coated them with um, uh, CK quartz. Uh, this roof rack up here, he got a, um, uh, what we put deluxe on that, same as this fella here. Here we got the C, C quartz. Now, I didn't put anything on those holders because the, his canoe goes on them. So, um, yeah. So, and I didn't, like with the other BMW did, W, I did. <laughs> it came out a bit weird. Um, I didn't polish that fella this time. And I'll tell you why in a second. But I did coat all the black trim under there. Tyres. They have uh, Capro Pearl only. I cleaned the wheels inside and out. They need a polish. They're actually quite damaged, these wheels. Um, you can see this big scratchy, hunky bit taken out there. Um, and then I coated them. So they, they needed a pop, proper good polish, but they're actually, um, polishing won't do any good. There's too much damage on them. So I just coated them, cleaned them and coated them. Wheel stayed on, they didn't come off. But I did polish this front. Uh, trim here. This trim was oxidised, so I did get the Maguire's plastics out and hand polished all that, and it's come out pretty, pretty good. And I also uh, hand polished and coated these things here individually using Old Matey again. And here, and the M badge down there. Let's see, they probably get, could go up a bit. There we go. That looks a bit better. I just saw something I've got to do, I've got to adjust, I just saw it, see in there? I want to put some um, pearl just in there, finish it off. Naughty tomato, but I'll do that once I finish the video. Um, yep, so there's the other Benny Hill. Have a quick look at the roof. So as I said, the moon has got a polish. And It's all done up there. Same on this side. All under here. Got coated. Oh, under there. And not only did I polish those B pillars, but I put some polish. Polished up these uh, trim. Go along there and across the top there also. Um, old matey, the wiper, he's got a Capro Deluxe on him, rear tail lights were... I gave him a, um, a bit of a polish, uh, to be honest they probably need a light wet sand and then a polish, but I, once again, I, this car was budget, the budget was a, a day, and I, put, I did a day and a half, just over a day and a half, um, because for what I said before about wanting to coat it and hopefully other people see the car. This is my eighth coating I think now. It's either eight or ten. I've done probably eight. Um, so I want to buy and base as I said. It's not a place people um, you know want to pay a lot of money to get their cars done but there are some people. So yeah I think that's it. So alright she's turned out pretty well. I'm happy with it. Just text him and hopefully he'll be coming over pretty soon to go. Oh, I remember. Old matey here too. He got the uh, deluxe on him. That strip down there. And it goes all the way down the back. Like so. Same on this other side. And that's once again where old Swabby comes in. And it goes all the way down the back there too. All right. Oh, I'm gonna go have some dinner. I'm starving. And I hope you've had a good day, and um, I'll see you all later.